Hello, my name is Keshwan. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 241, quantitative comparison question number 8. Let's take a look at it. It says a merchant made a profit of two dollars and seventy-five cents. All right, two dollars and seventy-five cents on a sell on the sell price of a sorter that cost the merchant twelve dollars and twenty-five cents. So the sorter cost him sorter cost him this much. And then he turned around obviously and sold the sweater on which he made a profit of 275. So obviously he sold it for about $15, looks like it. Let's see what the question is asking here. In column A, they want you to express the profit as a percentage of the cost. As a percentage of the cost. When the profit was 275, the cost is 12.25. This is your column A. In column B, they want you to express the profit as a percentage of the sale price. Well, the profit again is 275, and the sale price would be the 225 that he that the merchant himself paid for the sweater, his cost, plus this obviously is the sale price. And here, of course, it's the profit expressed as a percentage of the cost. Don't worry about the fact that it's, I'm not multiplying this by 100, I'm not multiplying by the 100. There's no bloody point in it. What's the point, What's the point of multiplying both sides by 100? It serves no purpose. So basically, I'm asked to compare this quantity versus that quantity. I don't have to do anything. These questions are called quantitative comparison, not computation. I'm not going to waste my time sitting there computing everything, which is what a lot of people end up doing. They sit there and actually compute the bloody thing. And then they compute this thing and then tell me which one is bigger. All you have to understand is that the denominator here, the denominator is bigger. This one is a bigger denominator than this one. So if the bigger if the denominator is bigger, this quantity is going to be smaller than this guy. That's all. We're done. This quantity is smaller because the denominator is bigger. This quantity is bigger. The answer is A. The answer is A. See, that's why I just looked at it here. Only 61% of the people got this question right. Only 61%. Uh, 39 people, 39%, almost uh, two-fifths of the people who took the exam, got this thing wrong. And the reason why vast majority of the people who get the question wrong, something like this, is because they sit there and try to compute every little thing. They waste a lot of time doing this thing. It's not necessary. I'm not interested in what this equals to. I'm not interested in what this equals to. All I'm interested in knowing the fact that this, this whatever it is, whatever, the, whatever, whatever it is, is less than this thing because the denominator is bigger. That's all. Because the numerator, as you can see, is the same. Usually I don't employ the terms numerator and denominator. Usually I speak just in terms of top thing and bottom thing. So here top is the same. The bottom here is bigger. Since the bottom is bigger, the whole thing is going to be smaller. That's all. That's it. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to talk to me uh, regarding uh, hiring my services for personal private tutoring or through through the internet on the webcam uh, with the skip and all that, or if you wish to purchase the solution manuals to any of these questions, uh, or for any reason at all regarding GRE, if you wish to get hold of me, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E.com, and send me an email. All right? Thanks.